When I think about what cryptocurrency is and its current adoption trends, first and foremost, it's a payment technology and it operates 24 seven. What we're seeing in the current adoption trends, some of the surveys are pointing towards upwards of one in six people in the United States are currently interacting with their own different forms of crypto. Cryptocurrency intersects with the traditional banking space. First, the most mature is the payment technology. It's an alternative to the traditional fiat payment rails, but people still need access to, to those fa traditional fiat payment rails. We also see a number of items going on with other emerging items such as stablecoins and the president's working group paper on stablecoins and the Federal Reserve's paper with uh, their exploration of the pros and cons of potentially doing a digital dollar uh, or a central bank digital currency. The risks that we see for digital assets and banking are consistent with a lot of the traditional risks. So first being third party vendor risk management, cybersecurity and, and alike. We also start to see the evolving regulatory environment and some of the political environment associated with digital assets that can lead to some risks for financial institutions in the space. The opportunities that I see for banks with digital assets are one, uh, adding new services or expanding services for customers, uh, bringing in potentially increased deposits or building consistent low cost revenue streams. Uh, there's also the al alternative or the ability for building innovative technology and improving your brand. The advice that I would give to banks for digital asset offerings, first and foremost, understand what your customers are currently doing. How many customers do you have that are engaged in this space and what's the strategy that you're focused on? Second, I really think they should look at things beyond the trends of just Bitcoin specifically. We're seeing a lot of activity in the NFT space and consumer markets companies that's going to drive a lot of adoption or at least the potential of, of more adoption as people become more comfortable with the technology.